Hey, what's happening, YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am having an awesome day. Had a good morning. And uh, today we are going to continue what I was doing before. Um, so I'm going to make a video. I'm going to give five topics, whatever uh, gets the most comments on. That will be what I will cover this Friday. So I'm actually going to give more time because some people did squeeze in at the last minute um, on last week's video. So... Uh, I'll give you guys five topics, but that doesn't mean that it has to be one of those. It can be whatever you want. So uh, if you think of something and it's something that I can help you with, then I'll make a video about it. If it's a, a plant or something I know nothing about, uh, then I have no choice but to just say, I, I'm sorry, I don't know that. But I will learn about it. Um, but in general, I'm really good with water, really good with plants and fish. So I have a few shout outs today. A uh, couple new subscribers. Um, let's see. So the first shout out goes to uh, Jenny Gust. Uh, she made a comment on one of my videos. Uh, I, I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. And then I want to do a shout out to uh, Gary Allen. Thank you so much for the positive feedback and the comment on my last video. Uh, G Family. Hey, yo. Thank you for all of your questions. You gave me a lot to talk about, and it was a lot of fun. I appreciate it. The last shout-out goes to uh, uh, 14 Fish. Um, she had actually made a recommendation for me for my testing strips, although I do do liquid testers also, <coughs> to snip them all in half and uh, double the amount of testers, because last time she had seen that I I had tested some water, and she was like, you get double the amount if you cut them all in half. And I hadn't even thought about that. I rarely use my testing strips, but... You know, they can cost anywhere from 10 to 30 bucks, depending on who you buy from. So that is a helpful tip. So thank you, 14 Fish. All right, so <clears throat> while I'm giving you guys topics uh, for next week, I'm going to be propagating a bunch of plants I got going on here. So I'll be doing that while I'm chit-chatting. So if I'm not looking directly at you, it's because I'm paying attention to my plants. Uh, so uh, I got five topics that we can potentially cover coming up this Friday, so everyone will get four days to comment. And uh, like I said, if you've got something else completely that interests you instead, leave that as well. I'll, I'll cover everyone unless there's just so many requests, and we'll just stick to what I suggested. So first one will be a video on uh, how to make a 20, I mean, sorry, how to make a dirted tank. Uh, a lot of aquascapers and beginners are scared of dirted tanks, it is my professional opinion that dirted tanks are the way to go. And I've already made a video for this. And yes, it's 20 minutes long, but I show you from, from the very beginning to the very end what to do with organic soil, what to cap it, and we go all the way through filling it with water and then letting it run and so you can see how long it takes for it to clear up. Uh, so that will be subject number one. Uh, subject number two will be... Uh, my five top stocking tips for a planted aquarium. Uh, I do have some good ones, and it is important, you know, what you choose to put in your tank because there are uh, animals that will destroy your plants, you know, and some not intentionally. They just do it because they're just they're messy. They fling around in the dirt and kick stuff up, and sometimes plants come up with them. Some will actually just eat everything. So, anyway, and uh, or three, we can talk about. Uh, liquid fertilizers and uh, root tabs. When is it okay to use them? What kind of substrate should you be using them using them on? Or do you even need to use them at all? Which, by the way, at the end of this video, if you wait to the end, I'm going to give a tip on how to target a rhizome plant with uh, fertilizer, uh, liquid ferts. So if you have a mixture, you have rhizome plants and um, you have uh, rooted plants, because I do have a couple tanks that are both. So if I want to target just one instead of just dousing the whole, um, you know, water column because not everything needs it, um, I'm going to give you a tip and show you how you can just target one plant and then be done with it. Uh, so that I'll show you that at the end of the video. And then number four uh, will be how to plant um, fully co uh, converted submerged grown cryptocoins. So I got a video on that, and uh, I am doing covering two cryptocorns in that on how to propagate them, how to plant them properly, uh, what to look for when you're opening them for the first time, etc. Et 
And then finally uh, will be an open uh, discussion for tips on your tap water. Because if you haven't figured it out yet, your tap water's crap. Okay? So I can help you with that. I had to do a lot of study and research on water. Because what's in your water is important. And if you have no idea what's in there, start asking away. You know, you have a water softener, or you got a few things to say to you about that. So anyway, so for the tip for targeting a rhizome plant. Now, I have all kinds of fertilizers. Okay, so this doesn't mean that because I'm using an aquarium co-op easy green that I'm saying that this is the best. You know, because not all plants need everything that comes in here. This has nitrogen. That's why I, I chose it. But there are some plants that are just fine with iron and potassium. Anyway, so we want to target just one plant. And I'm going to show you because this tank is loaded with every plant imaginable. So I'm going to stick my straw in, cap the top, and now I've got a little drip of it in here. And I'm going to show you, like right now, I just want to target this moss. So I'm going to let it out and then just swirl it around. Yeah, it's, you probably didn't see it. It looks kind of like clear fumes. But anyway, it got injected directly into this Java moss, which is having a hard time. It was sold to me grown immersed, and moss takes forever reconverting into, um, into a submerged form. It, it takes a long time. Um, and a lot of plants do. But so that's what I've got for you today. Uh, thank you for watching. Got a couple more tanks I'm dealing with and some propagating I'm going to be doing. So I hope you all had a fantastic day. And if you had a bad day, like always, I want you to get up and do something about it. Don't sit there in the dumps. Even if you live alone and all you got are a bunch of cats running around your house, you can still do something interesting. Cats love watching projects. They'll watch you build aquascapes all day, so go do it. Get yourself a tank. Let's build something. Have a great night.